home is, is a place where you can go to feel comfortable, you can feel connected, feel like this is the place to be. When I lived here at the children's home, you know, pretty much taught that uh, we were all here for a purpose, but uh, I had my doubts about it. I felt abandoned, you know, by my, by my family, my, my, especially my dad, you know, because he was the only parent that I had left. And he had asked me if I wanted to go to Amarillo, you know, and I said, sure, you know, if you'll go with me. So he came with me, but he left without me. I was unsure about what my future was going to be. And I started getting into a lot of trouble. By this time, my, my father had passed away and, and things were not going well. I was told there's going to be difficult times ahead too. You know, it, it's just, it, it's part of life. I did pretty well in the military because that's when I started to realize that the discipline that I had here at the children's home was starting to pay off, that there was a reason for that. You need to have a direction in which to progress. You know, in order to grow and to be successful, you have to have discipline. Otherwise, it's just, you know, it's a meaningless life. You know, in the military, they didn't give it to me. It was pretty much given to me here. <laughs> but they reinforced it. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. She taught me a lot. She helped me realize that my past was valuable, that what I had learned at the children's home and in the Navy, that I could be successful with that. I think the most important thing that I learned from the children's home was a work ethic. And it stayed with me the, uh, the rest of my life. I was successful. I was able to get a job, hold down a job, and in the equipment rental industry, from menial labor to a management position, and I did very well in all of them. Reflecting back, I realized that my original feelings about the children's home, my doubts, that they did provide for the kids in you know more ways than just the basic needs. They provided a basis for understanding why we're here and what we can look forward to in our future. Coming back to the Amarillo Children's Home, I feel happiness. I came to the Children's Home when I was eight years old. As you can imagine, most kids that come here are pretty angry about the situation that they're in. They were very good at working out our anger issues. They taught me to write about my feelings, which I absolutely hated at the time. I fought it and got in a lot of trouble for ripping up many journals. It taught me to just work through my problems and not be so angry at people. You know, having somebody that I can go confide in if I had issues with friends at school or broke up with a boyfriend or just having a really rough day, knowing that I would have two parents there at all times that I could go and be comforted by. Having people that I can trust in that I know that whether I mess up really big or do something amazing, they're going to love me either way and never judge me. Being able to come home at night and know that you're loved unconditionally by the people that are there. Family, sharing memories. That's pretty much what home is. I work with very, very sick patients. People come into the hospital feeling like it's the worst day of their lives and it's my job to make them feel that they are important and that we're, you know, we're there to take care of them and love them no matter what. That's one of the main components of being a nurse, 
is being compassionate and loving. So the children's home definitely taught me to be compassionate and use unconditional love in what I do now today. Coming back to the children's home, I definitely feel a sense of warmth and comfort, and it's a good feeling. I came to the Emerald Children's Home in 1999 with my siblings. Our home that we were in, um, that was a previous unstable environment. The Children's Home provided a safe place for us and it also instilled in us that no matter what in life, we're gonna be okay. It's where I had stability it's where I had encouragement. It's where I felt like people were actually in my corner and wanted me to be the person I am. When I was leaving the Emerald Children's Home from, for the very first time, I was scared because I did not know where life was gonna lead me. The lessons in the, the Children's Home instilled in me is no matter what, even if I fail in life, it's going to be okay. Even though you get knocked down, you can get back up again. And that's always rung true and, you know, stayed with me throughout my adult life. The Children's Home taught me to believe in who I am and my potential and that I can be anything that I set my mind to. You know, in some of my darkest moments, I knew I was going to be okay. And I stayed in contact with a lot of my family teachers and assistant family teachers that really kind of provided the stability and you know, kind of like the cheering I need behind the scenes as I went to school at Texas Tech, West Texas A&M. They helped me tremendously. Support, um, emotional, physical, I mean, any way you can imagine, they were, they were there for me in my corner. And I always thought, I want, hey, you know, I kind of want to do something to give back. And so that's when I decided I wanted to become a nurse. It was a huge risk and a huge challenge, and there were lots of doubt. But then again, I still had those people cheering me on, saying that I can do it, and I believed in myself. So now I'm currently a pediatric nurse practitioner. Coming back to the Emerald Children's Home, I feel nostalgia. I see a lot of kids in the position that I was, and it's emotional. You see a lot of broken kids that are worth it, that you know that they can be successful. And I just see like the love that the children's home and all the house parents and assistants and the administration give to the kids. And um, it's super emotional because I was those, I was that kid and I don't know where I would be, essentially, without the children's home. A home is a place where you can come, you can be yourself, there's love, there's caring, there's laughter, there's joy. There's heartfelt moments. A home is where your heart is and it's love. On September 2nd, 1956, you effectively lost your entire family. Surely words cannot describe the devastation you felt that day. Your decision to keep us all together at the children's home rather than splitting us up reflected the love you had for all of us. You effectively provided us with at least basic care such as food, shelter, clothing, and a basic education along with a moral, ethical, and religious foundation. Moreover, you made difficult decisions and gave us up so we could have a fulfilling life. And for that, I will for, be forever grateful. 
I feel like I finally made peace with my dad, that uh, I understood his reasoning. And I just, you know, felt closer to him because of it. I'm proud of the Amarillo Children's Home because I feel like they're doing a fantastic job of bringing kids to a point where they can realize that they have a future and that they can be a blessing to other people. I think of what my legacy will be and what my destiny is. I've pretty much decided that my legacy to the Children's Home is I will give back. I will pay it forward. My name is Donald Wood. I am home. My name is Crystal Dawson, and I am home. My name is Samantha Haley, and I am home.